Hey everyone, it is Debbie with Debbie's Recent Things, and today we are going to be doing a pick monkey tutorial. Now, if you are friends with Wild About Wreaths, then you know that I tried to do a, tut a tutorial live on Facebook not that long ago, but I had to do it kind of an old school way. I had to take my phone and record it um, record the camera there, you know, because it was on live, uh, to my laptop. And so now I decided to do it a different way, um, so I can show you straight from my computer. So let's go on to the internet, and I already have PicMonkey pulled up. This is a free site, so it does have my name in here, because in order to save the picture you have to give your email address but there is no harm done uh, pick monkey is great and they're not gonna uh, do a whole bunch of spamming or anything like that it is a very trusted site all right so let's pull our first picture you're going to go to this little edit here and i'm going to pull it from my computer and we're going to use this sailor wreath anchor wreath that i made Okay, so if you see over here, this is your basic edits. It's right here in this little knob looking thing, as I like to call it. And here you can crop, you can do, uh, you change your canvas color, which you don't really do that with this. But you can rotate, you can change your exposure, color, sharpen, and resize. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to get rid of this ugly stuff that I don't want showing in my picture. I use an old door out of um, a, our garage. And so I might have to close out of Facebook so it'll quit dinging. And so I don't want all of that showing, but I love using this door. Alright, so that looks good. So after you've got where you want to crop, you're going to come over here and you're going to click apply. And it's done. Now you can go on from here <coughs> or you can do what I like to do. I like to do uh, exposure, but I do not go in here and mess with the brightness and the contrast much more because I don't want to take away from these ribbons. I don't want to give it a color um, that's not true. And I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. What I like to do is click auto adjust and it kind of just gives it a little brightness. Let me show you the before. So let's cancel that. Pretend like I don't want it. Okay, you see, it's kind of dull because it was a little bit darker out when I took the picture. And so when I hit that auto adjust, it just gives it a little bit more light. But see, if I go in here and I adjust the brightness on my own to maybe try to make my background lighter, it takes away from my ribbon. Sure enough, I can go in here and darker my contrast, but I am just messing with my colors too much and it's just not... I, I don't want to do that. So I'm not going to do that. I will go back and readjust my exposure and I'm going to hit apply. Now from here you can go in here and sometimes I like to do the auto adjust on the colors. For this one I will because it, it does look better. Um, but some of them I don't like the way it looks. But it's something you can always try and it's not something you have to keep. So let's hit apply. Now, this looks great. It is ready to put on Etsy, except it does not have a logo or a watermark. Now, y'all, I am a stickler for putting watermark and a logo on your work. You work too hard on your wreaths to have somebody come in and take your picture and use it as their own. I have seen it done time and time again and I am one that will always say watermark your photos. So I'm fixing to show you how to do that. 
Now, I have my own logo that I can put on here. So that is what I'm going to do. And the way that I do that is I go to this little butterfly right here, which is called overlays. Now from here, I want to add my own. So I go to add my own. Mine is saved to my computer. There's my logo. And then I do the white JPEG. Oops, sorry. That is not it. Sorry, y'all. Hold on a minute. That's not it. So I'm going to go and undo that because that's not it. That must be PNG. There it is. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. I know what it is. I don't know why I did that. All right, from here, I'm going to adjust my size. And you don't want to make it too small because you want um, your logo to show. And you want to put it far enough into your wreath that somebody can't cut it out because let me tell you I have seen it happen I have seen a lady who is local to where I am and she hasn't done it in a while but she actually took somebody's logo that was on this side and cut all but a little bitty piece like a little bitty piece out but she had cut the words out and then she went and posted the picture onto her her Facebook page as if she created it herself. People were asking her about it, and she was saying that it was her. She never said that she didn't create it. So with that in mind, this is why I say put your logo on and get it into the picture as far as you can. Get it on your wreath or whatever you're making as far as you can. So that if they try to come in and remove, they're going to have to take a good chunk of that picture out. Okay. So now, looks great. But, let's say that you don't have a logo. And you just want to add a text to it. So that you have something on there where your picture is not taken advantage of. Just go to this T here. to Text. And I like to use Bleeding Cowboy. It's already on here. It is just one of my favorites. And then you're going to add text. Click in it. And let's just, um, I'll just put my name in here. All right. And then I'm going to adjust my little box here. And let's just move this up here. Okay. Now I like to um, make my letters white. And then I like to fade. I've taken a lot of time to study and figure this program out. I had a lady tell me about it a couple years ago when I got my logo. She is the one that told me how to use PicMonkey. And it has been great. Okay, so there it is. So then you click out of it and you're done. There it is. So your picture's done. You have a logo of one of the sorts on here. So now you want to save it. You're going to go up here to save. I usually keep it right here um, at the Pierce. It, it, it's where um, it's recommended. And it's great. So we're going to save it to my computer. I got to give this a, another name. <laughs> Let's make it anchor. And it's done. Just like that. 
All right, guys, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below, and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And remember, I am part of a great group on Facebook called Wild About Wreaths and Wreathing Around. So go check us out. And I also have my Facebook page, Debbie's Wreaths and Things. And there you will find my wreaths and um, stuff that I am selling. And then, of course, my YouTube page. All right, y'all. I will talk to y'all later. And, oh, this is for someone special. Savannah, that's all, folks. Bye.